Hello friends, very good morning to all of you. So we covered the real estate in the last session. Now we are going to cover the metadata, right? Like we just trying to understand what is exactly metadata, what exactly metadata does, right? How metadata basically create a trust between two parties, right? So we'll just try to understand what exactly values or information inside metadata and yeah, what exactly it does, right? So we just try to cover that. It's a small session, but yeah, like and quickly we can jump to PF25. That is again very important session for this uh, uh, pink filtered complete course, right? So we can just uh, create a Salesforce developer account like uh, and then we can just try to integrate Salesforce with Pink Federate and then we can just go for all those testing, right? So what I discussed in the previous session. So yeah, so let's quickly complete the metadata and then we can quickly jump to the SAML application onboarding. So let's begin. So let's quickly discuss on metadata. So it's a small topic we can complete quickly. So metadata is basically what is exactly in the case of SAML. So it's a like a, just used for creating a trust or you can say you are just uh, uh, exchanging a kind of information as we just understand that uh, IDP has to understand the endpoint and the uh, other conflict certificate values of the service provider and service provider has to understand or has to know the endpoint of the IDP where I need to send the uh, request or like yeah, the certificate thing. So I need to know all those things. So for that only there is a uh, metadata exchange. So in the metadata you have all these endpoints configured. That's why we are just uh, going in the beforehand, before the integration, we are just going for the metadata exchange so that these two party can have the information of other, other one. So both the party have their own metadata, SP have their own, IDP have their own. And we can just quickly, I'll show you the IDP metadata. For now we haven't uh, done the application like integration at Salesforce. So I'll just show you in the test section, but yeah, for now I can show you the metadata of IDP, but it will just look the similar form and have the endpoint values, uh, binding va uh, methods, uh, the certificate, all those things. So that uh, the application can just take those values and configure in their uh, whatever that, how they are designing that uh, so that the authentication request initiate and send to the correct address. So basically metadata have like uh, entity ID, endpoint, the bindings used. If there are multiple bindings, then which is a default binding, then you have the digital signature, X509 certificate, attribute details, binding location for single sign on, single logout, all those things have the metadata. So that's why there is exchange of metadata happening before the integration. Like I'll quickly show you also, like let me go to the VM. We have an application. So if you can just go to this place, you can have the option to export metadata. Just click on next or click on manage certificates or no need I think sorry I just came to the wrong place but let's go to SP connection go to select action click on export metadata go for next and you can have option to export this once you export I'll just show you quickly like let me go to downloads and I'll open this way. yeah I'll just try to open a notepad uh, because I'm not having the notepad uh, plus plus Notepad++ plus plus is really uh, giving much information. So it can open in the browser also, Internet Explorer also. Yeah, it, it looks a little better here. So here you can see in this metadata, you can see the first thing, the important thing, the entity ID is equal to something. So this is the identifier of our ping filterate. In the similar way, we have the same for the application. Once you just open the service provider metadata, you can see their entity ID. In the case of SAML, I'm talking. So it's a basically identifier of the party, whether it's a service provider or whether it's an identity provider. Then you have the like authentication, one authentication request signed, okay, it's false or true. Then you have the protocol support enumeration that SAML 2.0 protocol. Then you have the key info, XML, DS, digital signature for that. And then you have the X509 certificate. So it's a public key basically. So if you remember the digital signature, we talk like how, how basically uh, the IDP is going to sign that uh, uh, response with the digital signature and just going to send uh, the public key to the receiver. So to the public key basically can, so the receiver basically can just uh, by using that public key, it can just decrypt that. Uh, DS and then calculate the hash value of the message of the SAML response and then just do the match. Correct, if you remember that. So for that, we just need to send this public key to the receiver who is going to receive our SAML response because we are just signing the response and sending back to the uh, receiver. So this is the public key, then you have the endpoint and then you have the name ID format here. Like uh, we can talk here like in the in the case of application onboarding, what is exactly name ID format? This is a kind of format uh, using that format only you need to just uh, configure the value like uh, uh, in your ping fit side when you are just building the attribute and using in that uh, format only you just need to uh, configure the values and send to the application like for example if uh, uh, SP have some uh, name ID format defined so you just need to define you just need to configure the uh, attribute at ping fit using that same format if you just change that then yeah that application is not going to accept that 
okay so for this uh, you have the name id format and then you have the single sign on service location this is the address where basically can uh, uh, this is the http post and this is the http redirect for both the binding we have the address and this is only for the single sign on service this is not for the logout that means that uh, when sp like in the case of sp initiated ss flow like uh, when service provider is going to send the authentication request to the idp this is the address where they need to send the request so that the ping fed can just take the consume the request and read what are the info whatever the information you are sending and based on that ping fed can take action so this is the correct address where this is a endpoint is idp slash sso dot saml2 and this is just a base url of ping fed or you can see the identifier in this case and this is for same for http post or redirect binding and then if you have the enabled the single logout then you have the logout address also you can see here that is something with the slo dot saml2 or like that and then you have the contact type administrative so this metadata will look like this only that you have the identifier value and you have the certificate value digital signature thing and you have the name id format and the attribute section as we talk so same in the similar type of thing you can see in the application side also so you can just grab these values and then you can able to create a connection like sp also has to create the connection at their end and idp also has to create so that they can both just talk to each other and just uh, perform the action like like sp can send the request idp can receive and then just uh, authenticate the user and then they send the response like that yeah so this is about metadata let's quickly jump to the important section uh, session now like uh, after this like uh, we can just go for the application onboarding that i will create a developer account in salesforce i'll show you and then we can integrate uh, salesforce with ping federate and then uh, yeah we can once after integration uh, we can just go through that how we are basically integrating the application in ping fed it's very simple the important part is to building the platform like policies selectors fragments apc adapters data store pc those are important thing but to create an application integrate an application uh, it's very straightforward thing so we can just have a look on that and then yeah like we can just go for a very good round of testing like we just need to test our policies selectors fragments idp flow sp flow sp initiated sso flow idp initiated sso flow relay state parameter we can go for testing like those all tests we can do and then we can see and we can just see that what saml tracer ha uh, how we can just debug the logs using saml tracer okay and uh, yeah we can just i'll show you that how we can go to say how what logs you can go and check in the ping federate to have some idea but we have a separate session for logs we can talk more there but i'll just give you some some brief of uh, of logs in the session okay so yeah this is about metadata so thank you and let's jump to the next session